China is located in the warm temperate zone, and from April to May the temperature is around 10 to 20 degrees Celsius. For many places in central China, this is the best season for traveling. We recommend a tour of the culture of the central plain in China. Ms. Zhao told us that the central plain of China is located mainly in Hunan province. It is situated in the center of China. Hunan province is one of many Chinese provinces that have a long history of over 5,000 years. As you may know, four out of seven ancient capitals of China were located in Henan province. So we strongly suggest you visit Henan to learn more about China's extensive history. Ms. Zhao has prepared a six-day tour for us. The route begins in Henan province in the northern city of Anyang, then south to Kaifeng, then west to the province's capital of Zhengzhou, and lastly to Luoyang. On the tour, you will see the 3,300-year-old ancient Chinese emperor's tomb and taste the best of Henan's flour-based foods or wheaten foods. And you'll visit the famous Shaolin Temple. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's go check it out. The first stop is Anyang City. Anyang was one of China's ancient capitals during the Shang Dynasty, which was about 3,600 years ago. The most important site you should visit is the Yin Ruins Museum. If you are interested in Chinese characters, then you can see the real oracle bones here. Besides the Yin Ruins Museum, Anyang also has a historic sites such as the Winfeng Tower, the Memorial Temple for General Yue. But don't forget to taste the special delicacies of Anyang, such as Dao Kao roast chicken and family guan's cake before you leave. Head to the west and you'll arrive in Kaifeng City, which was the busiest city in the world during the Song Dynasty about 1400 years ago. At Qingming Shanghe Park, you can experience the ancient ways of life. And of course, don't forget to stop at Kaifeng Snack Street and try the Guantang Bao, which is a tasty soup-filled dumpling. Kaifeng is a small city. So getting around by taxi will be the best choice. The cost is 5 RMB for the first 3 kilometers, then 1 RMB for per kilometer afterwards. So one or two days should be enough for this city, and you'll spend around 500 RMB. The next stop is the most important one on this Henan trip, which is the provincial capital of Henan province, Zhengzhou. Zhengzhou is the cradle of Chinese culture. Chinese civilization saw its beginnings at the Yellow River, and here you can enjoy the Yellow River theme zone to learn more about the customs and way of life. In Zhengzhou, there are many places to visit. For example, the observatory built thousands of years ago by the Mongols, and the birthplace of the Chinese ancestors, Emperor Huangdi and Yangdi, which are all worth seeing. But the highlight of this trip is the famous Shaolin Temple. Shaolin Temple is the birthplace of Kung Fu, or Chinese martial arts. All of the ancient halls are filled with original real Buddha statues. You can learn about Zen culture and watch the monks practice Kung Fu. There is a Kung Fu performance daily at 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock and 5 o'clock. And if you buy a ticket, then you can enjoy the Kung Fu show by real monks. Since Shaolin Temple is the most popular attraction, it is easy to get a bus there. Seeing the sights in Zhengzhou will take you about one to three days. Afterwards, you can visit Luoyang. The best time to visit is in April, between the 15th and 25th, when the Peony Flower Exhibition is held. You can also visit Wangcheng Park and the Longmen Grottoes, where you will find all kinds of Buddha figures, with the biggest being 17 meters tall and the smallest one only 2 centimeters. For this route around Henan, if you have a short five-day trip, it will cost around 1,000 RMB. If you're interested in traveling there or want to know more detailed information, please contact us at www.bon.tv.